Hey guys, SHM here. Back at it with another uh, part of our Banjo Kazooie without any hard tricks tutorial. We're going to be doing Freeze Easy Peak today. Immediately when you enter, you want to just go ahead and just run down this ramp and jump to avoid the boggy text. Uh, we don't care about these notes because we come back up and down these hills like a whole bunch. You're going to come over here, open up the twinklies. Make sure you... Oh, uh, make sure you kill the first one and then come back over here before you see any of the other ones spawn. And uh, as long as you don't see any of the other ones spawn, all the twinklies will go straight into the tree. And you can chill out, hang out here. And talent shot. When the twinkly counter goes down to one, that's when you can start jumping towards the end of the ramp. Save you a little bit of time. Okay. And then jump around here. notes, slam the switch with three eggs, get the other note, and then I like to come up here and grab the pink Jinjo. <clears throat> I don't do yellow tree, so you can just beak bomb past the star and then fly through it. <clears throat> <clears throat> Hopefully not as sloppy as I do it. <laughs> then you're going to go for the buttons. You can beep bomb the buttons from pretty far away. After you slam the third button, don't press anything or flap. And then you can do five flaps to get up and into the pipe. Jump out onto the sled. This is going to take you down to Boggy again. Here, I just like to jump into the jiggy. And then, if you want to grab some of these notes on the way down, you can. Um, if you go left to right as you're going down that hill, uh, it's a little bit easier to grab those uh, notes. You, you won't do the slide animation. Okay. And then come all the way up here for the tree jiggy. Fall off. And once you hit the first note, you just count to 12. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You can also just hit notes until you see the present beneath you. Make sure you grab the Mumbo token, and then you're going to head on back over to this flight pad for Snowman. Now, you can pick up as many of these feathers back here as you feel you need. Um, you only need, like, five or six feathers in order to take care of all the Snowmen. And I'm going to be trying to beak bomb these Snowmen towards the left of their hats. If I do it towards the left of their hats, I'm going to get the best bounce off of uh, every single Snowman that I need. So, again, I'm going to... Just raise some height there. Oh, and I actually missed that one. Again, left side there. And it's very important that we hit the left side of this one. Because we want that extra distance away from Mumbo's house so that we can beak bomb shortly afterwards. And you can beak bomb from pretty far away for the snowmen too. Just remember to always aim for the center of the screen because that's always where you're going to go. So that just takes practice. Jump up here in Talon Trot. Get all the notes first. That way you know as soon as you collect the Jinjo, you can jump down and press the switch. Oh, no. 
Okay, leaves the walrus. You're going to come over here and you're going to be um, collecting some of the notes. But we're not going to be getting all of them. Tips and tricks when you're playing as the walrus, you only want to jump when you're switching velocities immediately or when you're going uphill. So I'm going to collect all of them, but those last two. So once I reach this house, I'm going to just start jumping over here towards the boggy. Start doing short jumps as you're going uphill. Now I'm going to try to push as far ahead of Boggy as possible right here. Because I'm going to be getting as many of these as I can. Now I didn't get everything around that leg. Um, and that's okay. You don't necessarily have to get everything. But the more you get, the less you have to come back for later. While we're passing these roofs, I'm going to grab these middle and the right one. Oh, oh, if I hit the right one. Jump in the water here to grab one, two, and then I get the left one and the middle one here. I do a little circle here to grab this note. It's important that we stay behind Boggy because if we're ahead of Boggy, he tends to go really, really fast and we don't want him to do that. So around this time is when I will pass him. Like by the time we get to the presents. I'm going to jump off here to get one, two, three. Hug the left side of this wall and jump up the hill. You can maybe even collect one of these notes if you want to. Again, you can collect as many of those notes during the Boggy race as you wish. Um... It's just up to what you're comfortable with. So just practice it. Get it down. Grab the uh, grab the trophy jiggy. And then you'll come down here to grab Waz's jiggy. And then whatever notes you didn't get during the race, you want to pick those up. Jump down here to the Mumbo token. And then you're going to make your way back over to Mumbo's hut. Make sure you pick up this present on the way. Again, short hops whenever we're going uphill. From here, we'll be making our way up the scarf of the snowman. I like to grab these gold feathers. You don't have to. Um, I like to be at full gold feathers basically the entire run. But it's really up to you. You can always skip those. So do short little hops and camera turns in order to do this optimally. I just jump and then I click C left, jump, C left, jump, C left, jump, C left. And then I center my camera once I get it here. That way I can just kind of go in a straight line. Jump over the beehive. Jump over here to the broom. Grab that blue Jinjo. Come around here to this note. Cut off your jump with a flap. Cut off your jump with a flap. Three flaps to get you to the top of the hat. One, two, three. And you can ground pound. And I like to get all the notes around the rim except for the last one. Because that kind of lets me know where I need to drop for the flight pad. So after I get that one, I'll come back over here and I'll roll. That brings me to the hole. And we'll go into flight. And all you got to do is beak bomb to the top of this mountain. You'll slide over the top and take some fall damage. Now I was at full health, so I didn't stop myself. And I was able to take three bits of damage. You want to be at five health by the end of uh, Freeze Easy Peak. So if you're at less health, you'll probably want to flutter before you hit the ground. Uh, if you're at more health, you can probably just let yourself hit the ground. 
All right, so this is the last time we're going down the first hill. So you want to make sure that any notes you didn't collect, you want to go ahead and grab them now. Again, if I swivel left and right, I won't, uh, I won't miss any as I do those little jumps down. And I'm going to go ahead and collect everything that I haven't collected yet. And you should be at 93 notes here if you've collected everything. So I'm going to do one, two, three. And then I'm going to come back over here and start the second boggy race. Collect these four notes in the back first. Now with the second boggy race, boggy goes considerably faster. Um, it's really up to you how far ahead you want to be uh, ahead of him. Because uh, remember, he does rubber band like a lot. So I'm going to kind of show you how fast he can go. I'm going to get ahead of him a lot here. So I jump, grab this note, jump off the roof. Come over here to the left because you're going to get the green Jinjo. Come back across, follow this note down. If you follow that note down, you won't fall in the water. And you can see he's he's going pretty fast now. Um, so I'm going to keep my cool. I'm going to stay behind him. And again, as you see, he kind of slows down near the presence. And that's where we'll jump ahead of him again. We're going to grab this left note, Mumbo Token. And then make our way up to the end. So again, guys, you can grab as much of that stuff during the race as you want or as little of it during the race obviously the more you grab the better it's going to be um the faster it'll be but again just it's whatever you're comfortable with practice and then you can see what you're willing to grab all right so we'll make our way into wazas for the final jinja again i like to grab these gold feathers you don't have to grab them And with five health remaining, you're going to jump over the fire, and you're going to jump basically where this point is. If you if you look at the ground, there's like a little point. Um, that point will show you where the hole is that you have to jump for. So I know that as long as I'm jumping on that point in Talon Shot, I'll always hit the hole. And you're just going to jump in full Talon Shot, let it sink you into the hole, and then just hold forward. And you have some leeway here, so make sure you don't jump too early. Otherwise, you'll fall back in the water. Grab the honeycomb and death warp on out of here. Talent shot, and you're done.